Hello friends, the topic of today's discussion is amine inversion. Amines have pyramidal structure with a lone pair in an sp3 hybrid orbital. If all the three groups attached to the nitrogen are different, then the amine becomes chiral. So, the chiral amine may be secondary or tertiary. Quaternary amine may also be chiral if all the four groups attached to the nitrogen are different. That we will discuss later. Let's take the example of ethyl methyl amine for our discussion. Since this is a chiral amine, so it would have a pair of enantiomers. This is the structure of R enantiomer and this is the structure of S enantiomer. Despite having chiral nitrogen, this is optically inactive because the two enantiomers are rapidly interconvertible at room temperature and therefore it always exists as 50-50 enantiomeric mixture. This type of nitrogen is not considered to be the stereocenter. The cause of faster interconversion is low energy barrier for the inversion. This phenomenon of interconversion of two enantiomers of a chiral amine is called amine inversion. Now, let's understand how this phenomenon occurs. In R enantiomer, nitrogen atom is sp3 hybridized. The three groups bonded to the nitrogen have pyramidal arrangement and the lone pair is present on sp3 hybrid orbital. The lone pair disappears from the upper face, moves through the nucleus downward leading to the formation of this transition state in which nitrogen is sp2 hybridized and the three groups bonded to the nitrogen lie in a plane. Now the lone pair reappears on the lower face to generate a pyramidal inverted structure with sp3 hybrid nitrogen and the lone pair in an sp3 hybrid orbital. This structure is nothing but the opposite enantiomer. This phenomenon is just like inversion of an umbrella in a strong wind. So this is also called umbrella effect. Amines with no inversion tendency. There are three circumstances in which an amine cannot invert and thus an amine can have two isolable enantiomers if the nitrogen is attached to different groups. Circumstance 1. Engagement of lone pair of nitrogen with other group. The main culprit of amine inversion is the lone pair on the nitrogen. So, if this lone pair is engaged with some other group to form tetravalent nitrogen, amine inversion can be prevented. The example includes chiral quaternary amines like ethyl methyl propyl ammonium cation that has isolable enantiomers R and S. Chiral anoxides for example ethyl methyl propyl ammonium oxide that also has isolable enantiomers R and S. Circumstance 2 Angle strain 
if the nitrogen is the part of a three or four membered ring then amine immersion is significantly retarded by angle strain under that circumstance two enantiomers of a chiral amine will be isolable for example 1,2 dimethyl aziridine and 1,2 dimethyl azetidine. In both of these, the nitrogen behaves as an stereo center. Now, let's understand the reason why nitrogen, which is the part of three or four membered ring, does not undergo amine inversion. Suppose we have N substituted aziridine. If it undergoes amine inversion, it would form transition state with planar nitrogen. Then this transition state would convert into inverted structure. In aziridine, the endocyclic C and C bond angle is approximately 60 degrees. Since the nitrogen is sp3 hybridized, so optimal C and C bond angle would be 109.5 degrees. In the transition state, the C and C bond angle is approximately 60 degrees while optimal C and C bond angle is 120 degrees because nitrogen is sp2 hybridized. The bond angle deviation in aziridine is 109.5 minus 60 is equal to 49.5 degrees while in the transition state this deviation is 1 to 0 0.60 is equal to 60 degrees. Thus, because of higher angle strain in the transition state, this is not formed and therefore inversion doesn't occur. We can give the similar explanation for azetidine. In 5, 6 and larger ring systems, this ring strain is well tolerated and thus higher ring systems show amine inversion. In the given pyrrolidine and piperidine derivatives, the nitrogen despite having three different substituents does not act as a stereo center. Circumstance 3 Impossible geometry of inverted structure. Nitrogen inversion is retarded in cage like compounds, for example, quinucleidine, where the nitrogen atom is in a six membered ring but cannot invert due to the impossible geometry of inverted structure.